today's video is about the dealership. So the place I got my car from when I got it, I didn't know this, but it had condensation in the headlights. So whenever the car warmed up a little bit, it would start to fog up. And when you're buying a $35,000 car, that's pretty annoying, you know? If it was a lot cheaper, maybe 10 grand, I probably wouldn't care because it'd be, you know, not the nicest car. But uh, because it's such an expensive car, I really feel like they should take care of me. And they have for the most part. But so I called them, went back there, tried figuring out the condensation thing. And they, I brought it in there. They said they fixed it. Hour, a few hours later co goes by and condensation comes back. I'm like, what the hell? All right, I'll give it a few days. So I give it a few days and it's still there. So I call the dealership, hey, what's going on? You know, this is still happening. They're like, all right, bring it in. We'll try something else. So I bring it in. They try to fix it again. But when I get there, they tell me I had aftermarket headlights. Whoever, whoever bought, had the car before me had aftermarket headlights. So um, so they tried fixing it again, literally within 45 minutes, same thing, gave it a few more days, same thing. So right now I am pretty pissed off about everything because, well, I don't want condensation in my headlight and they keep telling me they're going to fix it, they're going to fix it and they don't fix it. I don't even know if they're doing anything at this point, but either way, so mind you, every time I bring it in, it's for a whole day. It's the whole day. Just to fix a little condensation takes, you know, 10 hours. So I call them, I go back in there, they're giving me the runaround now. All right, wait one week, we're gonna talk to our GM. Wait another week, we're gonna talk to this person. So then I call yesterday, like the 24th maybe, I don't even know. And I say, hey, what's going on? You know, I'd like to get this fixed. They said, sorry, we can't do anything for you, but come in and try to talk to everyone and see. Now I just think that's bullshit because if I'm buying a $35,000 car, you sold me the car with headlights and didn't tell me about it. I could see if you told me about it, but they all know they didn't tell me about it. So that, that's the issue I'm having is that they're telling me they don't want to fix it and that I got to pay out of pocket for it, which is complete bull crap. I even told them, I don't want the, I don't want the aftermarket headlights. You guys can keep them. I don't give a crap. Just fix it. So... Right now we're on our way to the dealership to go hopefully talk to all them and make it work because I feel like this is bull crap. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I just don't feel it's right. And if you want someone to come back to your dealership, because I will say it, it was a great dealership to go to. Like I had pleasant time. I was in out within an hour and a half of buying this car. You know, the guy I bought it from was really cool. You know. He pressured a little bit, but you know, he's a salesman, so what do you expect? But either way, so I just want to get this taken care of, and I'm just pissed off because I really feel like the dealership should take care of this because it is certified pre owned. And technically, I'm pretty sure they do got to fix these things, but they say because it's aftermarket, they don't have to. But they also didn't inform me about it when I bought it, so. I don't know. I want to know what your guys think in the comment because I think it's kind of just crappy of them to say no. So right now I'm going to go talk to the finance manager, talk to him about it, and then hopefully I can set up a meeting with the GM or owner or whatever. And, you know, I'm be super polite about it, super nice about it because they are good people. And the uh, service manager there has been really awesome to work with. You know, he's telling, he keeps telling me he's going to make it work. He's going to make it happen. And uh, he's the one that told me to go talk to the other people and it should it should get fixed you know so I'm just giving you guys a little update on that and like I said the next video that will come out will probably be talking about my tunes and the issue I was having and how I know it was an issue so let me know what you guys think uh think in the comments below like subscribe please and I would really appreciate it because, I don't know, maybe I'm in the wrong, maybe I'm not. But, you know, when you have a $35,000 car and you just buy it, you don't want to have to put, you know, $1,000 into a headlight because of, you know, it, it's not your fault, you know. 
especially when it's pre-owned. So I'm gonna give you guys a little pull with the new tune and tint. Man, I will say this tune feels real nice. But all right, guys. So tomorrow's video, the next day, will be all about the tune and maybe having some fun in the streets of Mexico. So, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.